Hello, hello, thanks for joining. I made it. I told you guys the Monday session is gonna have to be based on my Monday schedule, but I wanna be here for you guys. Hi, Nikki. We have um, quite a few success stories this week and I'm so excited. And just let me just close some of these things. I don't know what's going on. Tatiana, how are you? How are you guys doing? Everybody, is everybody aware of this week's challenge? Has everybody manifested from last week? I missed a couple of sessions last week. So I haven't received email updates enough about the flamingos or I just want to make sure you guys all got patients. And um, if you guys don't know what it is, it's the 60 day challenge that we're doing is a challenge that you're challenging yourself to prove to yourself that you can manifest things. And we have so many success stories. Success is cumulative. Remember, I do little things and little exercises with you just to prove to you how much success you can have. And in the end, what you will identify is that the bigger things are just as easy to manifest as the small things. And once you got that, boom, you can have anything. But until then, be kind to yourself. Do not put time pressure on yourself. Somebody said, um, I'm a, what if I'm approaching, I'm two weeks away from completing my challenge. I got a lot of little things that we talked about, but I haven't gotten my main manifestation yet. Do not put a time pressure on it. Okay, manifestation is really about staying in the state of mind where you understand that what unfolds around you has to do with what you're going through inside. And the more you go inside and identify that, the bigger the impact you will have on reality. Most people just live at surface level, right? They live at surface level and so they have random thoughts and random things happen to them. But once you go inside and you do this work, and this is why I made it like a two months type work, and I did tabs for you guys, where you tie what happens to you in 3D to what manifests for you. Once you understand that link and you can look back, like I had an incredible success story of somebody who printed, the premise for her was that she's manifested unexpected money. And just today I got this testimonial that she was doing the practice and she just focused on this manifesting unexpected money and she got paid twice twice from the same from the same company paid her twice and she thought they were going to ask for the money back but they never did and it, it's beautiful you don't know about the how you don't know because when you think unexpected money like a lot of people think oh it's the lottery i'm going to win the lottery or what have you or i'm going to knock on wood somebody's going to die and i'm going to inherit some money or what have you you don't the way it comes, you have to understand that the way it comes is in a way you least expect. You don't expect, you don't know. You don't know um, how it's gonna work out. We'll just wait for this plane to pass or whatever it is. And um, when it comes, it sort of leaves you in awe, right? It leaves you in awe because you didn't expect it. So the more concern you are with how it's going to come to you, the least likely you are to manifest. The more you think about how it's going to come to you, the least likely you are to manifest it. Okay, I want this to be clear. When this person that I just told you my, my testimonial about, she manifested unexpected money, she just put it out there, unexpected money. It didn't matter where they came from. But never for once she thought she would get paid on a project twice. I love it. I love it. Right? So the idea is keep your mind on the work. Keep your mind on doing this work. Do the 60-day challenge in my bio. That I put it for a nominal price so that everybody can do it. Uh, not a free download because something free has no value to anybody. So feel like you're paying something and then you're showing up on all my lives, but you're the one doing the work. You're doing the work and people love sharing success stories with me. If you guys want to contact me by email, my email is outlined there. And um, people just love telling me about, oh, this is what happened. So another story that I have is two weeks ago, we're manifesting an unexpected call from somebody. So I heard from somebody who's, um, maybe she's on day 40 of the challenge, I want to say. And she said, um, an old boyfriend of hers 
just came and something he just like contacted her after three years and she goes like I manifested my unexpected call um you know it was my ex-boyfriend this is what happened between us and I never thought I'd hear from him but I wonder why I manifested it and then this week she's like the subject of her email is like more unexpected call right so it's what happened this weekend is so we finished that challenge with the unexpected call, but she goes, I keep getting unexpected calls. She goes like my ex-husband that I divorced 30 years ago, 30 years ago, he came because he had a problem and an alcohol problem or have you. He came back at my door just begging for me to just forgive him for what he had done to me 30 years ago. So much for manifesting unexpected things, right? So be prepared when you're doing this work. Like I know this person is serious about the work again. She's on day 40 of the challenge or 41. You will have a lot of loose ends in your life tie up and, and come together. And a lot of the things that you let go of will actually have a conclusion in 3D, which is great, right? Because this conclusion is where you take your energy back. So in her case, she's had a lot of scattered energy with all these exes, with all these unresolved situations. And then we're manifesting unexpected calls or unexpected things to occur to everyone's highest benefit. And of course, she gets this high benefit of she felt really good, right? Somebody's for 30 years, you wonder why this person did this to you. And then they come and explain and want to talk about it. And it's, it's sort of, she said, something got resolved for me. That's amazing. If that's the only thing you're going to get out of this work, it's so worth it, right? <laughs> I'm manifesting some money and then immediately I found out an order of mine has been canceled. Do not pay any attention to 3D. Anything that seems like a failure is actually a push forward. So it's not... Your brain, the way it interacts with reality is your brain wants to stay in status quo, okay? So I want to say your brain is not, is not, does not want anything to change. So if you're successful, it wants to stay successful. If you're unsuccessful right now, it wants to stay there because your brain just wants to keep you in safety. Safety by, by safety, I mean survival. You're alive now. You don't have any problems. You don't have any, you know, sort of, if you're successful, all of a sudden you're going to have to deal with all these problems. Maybe people want to take from you. Maybe people, your brain's worried on a level that you don't understand. So you just keep persisting, okay? Manifesting some money. Do the work that I outlined in the 60-day challenge. Do the organized work. We're manifesting as a group here, which is very powerful, right? Because we're all staying focused on the same ideas, and we're, we're imagining each other and we're putting each other in the circle, right? And we're holding each other responsible. Like there's portions of this work you have to email to me for agreement. I will give you agreement to your manifestation. The reason for that is you stay accountable. Two or more people agreeing on the same thing is like getting this thing done. I saw your third eye. You know, you're not the, you're not the first person who told me this. Interestingly enough, somebody told me that in real life. Men from my past are confessing their feelings for me, so I know my manifestations are close. A hundred percent. Nadia, and if you, I don't know if you just tuned in or you heard the story that I just said with the lady that um, um, she's manifested two of her main exes, her ex from 30 years ago, coming uh, and apologizing and um, and her, her ex from a few years ago, boy, uh, an old boyfriend as well. Yes, so this is very, very common. When you're doing this work, men from your past are coming to confess their feeling. Because part of the work and what I outlined there is you're the only one, you're the only option, et cetera. Where can I find a manifestation challenge? It's, it's in my bio. So if you click on my username and click on take the challenge, it will be there. So it's because I pre-populated certain affirmations, like I'm taking the guesswork out of this. When you're reading those affirmations, because you're reading it as part of the group, as part of this group, you're amplifying their power. So you're going to find that where you have the least amount of resistance, those things will come faster to you. So in your case, it's probably your self-worth. And as you're starting a little bit doing, I'm the only one, I'm the only option. Men, all men who date me want to see me again, et cetera, et cetera, whatever I put there. 
um, you'll find that if you have very little resistance to that, they will have a huge impact, huge results. Some people are saying, oh, I don't even want all these people to contact me. You can't stop it. <laughs> so you can block and delete them in 3D, but I mean, you can't stop. Like this is, this has a snowballing effect, right? So as you're doing this manifestations, do not, do not try to control them, to control the how. Like you, if you put yourself out there as the only option and the only the only priority for the person you're dating. Do not say, oh, but I don't want it from this person. Now somebody shows up on your doorstep with flowers and candies and you're like, oh, but it's not him that I that I want. It. Don't, don't try to control the how. Okay? You're, you're only staying focused on, obviously this is going to happen because I'm the only option. And eventually the person that you want will do the same thing. You just have resistance to it. You have resistance to it because you somehow place them above you for the time being. But as we will continue through this work, again, this is not a work you do for three days and then you put it aside. So you need to be committed to doing the work if you're going to start doing it with us. Because we have a few people here that are on every live and that are putting a lot of energy for the rest of the group. Okay, so if you're doing it, you're committed to yourself and to the group. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so last week, I can't make this stuff up, okay? Last week, we did the um, typical Neville Goddard ladder exercise. I was on a ladder this weekend. I Like, I just can't make this up. I was like, I, I forgot about it because I told you guys to forget about it, right? And then there was a ladder in my bedroom because... We heard some some going ons in the attic. And like I just I took a photo of it. I was like, oh my god, this is my attic is through my closet upstairs. And um <laughs> I I was on a step of this ladder and I was like, I just did the ladder exercise. So for this whole week, because I only put out the challenge on Thursday, for this whole week, you're gonna do the ladder, okay? You're gonna, I don't know if you're part of the meditation on Thursday, but somehow you're, you're going to step on a ladder. And then I'm also manifesting somebody offering you a coffee. And the story with the coffee is you cannot grip it. You have to pay it forward. Either send me a coffee or give it to somebody in line behind you as uh, once you get it. What, what did I do wrong? What did you do wrong? What did you do wrong? Tell me didn't do anything wrong just do the work guys I just I'm scrolling to see if I missed anything if I missed anything oh I got a coffee right now like a virtual coffee thank you thank you King are you part of the challenge and um, if you if you are part of the challenge Send me your success story if you're sending me this virtual coffee, not a real coffee. So I, I the ladder thing came came for me very unexpectedly. If you're doing the 60-day challenge, don't forget you have to do the YouTube meditation. Um, that's that's in my um. If you click on my bio on the program, it's I actually included in the instructions, like the link to it. If not, my YouTube meditation is at the same handle on YouTube as it is here at Finer Manifestation, okay? And then uh, let's see what else. I've done a video today that everybody should watch about claim, declare, praise, and giving thanks. I just posted it maybe like an hour ago. Someone paid for my groceries, but no coffee. So we're having a lot of small money manifestation because a lot of this work is about unexpected money. Do not be surprised when unexpected money, <laughs> when unexpected money just um, shows up in your life like this, like somebody paying for your groceries, somebody sending you random money, this person in my testimonial who got paid twice for the same um, project and she got to keep the money. It, it's just, um, it happens in ways you don't expect. You'll get the coffee too, a hundred percent because I'm sending it to you. A hundred percent. 
who else manifested what by doing the challenge? I know we have we have people in the challenge um, on this on this live. So I just want to. Sorry, I just I don't know if I have a moderator today, so I just want to make sure all comments stay res uh, respectful. I got contacted by an ex who's getting married in July and wanted my opinion on it. Very unexpected. <laughs> yeah, you know what? A lot of us, including myself, are about one week behind in our challenge. You can start the challenge anytime. Um, the challenge is with yourself, right? But you become automatically and energetically part of the group of people who are doing it at any point in time. So people are starting it every week. It's not it's not a problem as when to start it. You'll always have a group of people that move along in this. It I only put it out end of April. So even for the people who started it at the beginning, they're still not completed the challenge. And the idea is you use the power of the group to manifest. But read all the instructions that I put there and follow them exactly, okay? This is this is work. It's not it's not a PDF you download and then you forget about it. You read it at night and then you put it aside. So I manifested a job for 250 at the same time. I got a fine of 250 at the exact same time. Very typical. It's very typical for the universe to balance um, when there is a loss in your life, when you do this work. It's a part of my morning routine. I don't think I'll stop after 60. Yeah, the idea, I, I made it a 60-day challenge just so your brain gets used to being in the state of mind for a long period of time because what we usually do with manifestation is we don't keep our mind on it we don't keep our mind on our mind so we might watch a couple of videos at night and then our mind is back back in 3d and that's sort of we're undoing all the work that you, we are doing in meditation and what have you so i created this thing so that you have daily work to do on like you're actually sitting at the computer you have to do the work you're printing the premise. You have to read them and read them again. You you see it everywhere. You remember the group. You remember you're part of a group of people who are doing this. And it it's just something that stays with you. So like this really said, you don't stop after 60 days because it begins to feel good. And it begins to feel like your second nature for good things to happen to you. So why would you ever stop? I lost my ex, my job, my savings. When can I expect the universe to balance? Balance? Are you doing the work in my bio? I think pretty much everybody at some point in life has lost their job. It does, you decide if it's for the better or for the worst. Okay. I, I was, I was packaged out of a, I was on fire. I was let go in the company, lost some contracts in 2014. I was like, what the heck? I was manifesting money. You know, how, what, what do you mean I lost my job and it was a great job too? And then I said, no, but I'm staying focused because I'm manifesting more money. And via another opportunity that wasn't even a job, I managed to make more money year after year after that. But I wouldn't have been able to work on those projects if, um, if I had my job, Queen. So see every failure as a step in the direction of your manifestation. See, just say, great, what's next? I'm ready for better. This job didn't work out. I'm ready for better. Show me. Show me there is better. Show me. If I lost something that is equal to what I got, am I doing it wrong? No. Stay in a grateful attitude always. Are you doing... Are you? The reason I'm asking if you're doing the specific, my specific challenge is because that will tell me sort of what's going on in your life. Hi. So in, in my challenge, there are certain premises you have to print and repeat all the time. One of them is that circumstances do not matter ever. Okay, so when something like this happens to you, you just tell yourself circumstances do not matter. They have nothing to do with my final result. My 3D has nothing to do with our final result. 3D is the reflection of all thoughts playing out or feelings that you didn't even know you had. Like, for example, you saw somebody and you had some envy towards them. The universe, unfortunately, reflects back everything you feel and think. But the way it does it, we have no control over it. So please, this work 
is staying in a positive mind, controlling your feelings. You have to control your feelings. A lot of us have a real problem with controlling our feelings because everything in our 3D is designed to stimulate feelings, negative feelings inside of us. The news, politics, human injustice, all these images that we're seeing, they're, they're there to instigate negative feelings inside of us. A wise man once said to live is to suffer, to survive, is to find something, some meaning in the suffering. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even look, I, I wouldn't look at it that way, queen, or king, sorry. I, I would basically just say, I'm moving on from this. It's fine, it didn't work out, it's fine. It's just fine, right? Because something bad is coming along. Like, I'm going to be challenged on this, and you guys are going to say, well, it's, it's easy to say it's fine, but what if it hurts? What if it... This is where the work is, right? This is where you have to take back control of your reality. Because otherwise, what? what's the alternative? The alternative is things just happen to you. Do you want to live like that? Like things just happen to you. And you have no control over them. And then, and then you die, right? Is that what we really hear? Like this complex thinking organism. Then why do we even have thoughts? Why aren't we like every other animal? You know, we survive. We Fight for survival and then we die. How do you control your feelings? By meditation, being in the present moment. Queen, did you do um, my meditation specifically on the concepts on how reality works on my YouTube channel? I only have one meditation and it's in the playlist meditation. I want you to listen to that over and over about how reality works, how your feelings works and how your feelings affect your reality. You can listen to it while you're driving. It doesn't have to be a meditation. The way you control your feelings is you choose not to react. So let me say that again. We all react in negative circumstances and in positive circumstances, right? You get feelings of joy, but you want to cultivate that. You want to stay. The ones in the negative reaction, the problem is not necessarily that people react because we're biologically designed to react. It's how long you stay in that reaction. So people are still reacting to things that have happened to them 20 years ago. They're still reacting to the fact that they were dumped or abused or cheated on, or this has happened five years ago, 10 years ago, right? Somebody really pissed them off at work last week. They're still upset about it. This is the problem. You have to take conscious control of your feelings. Somebody can cut you off in traffic and you could react for a second. And afterwards you'd be like, he was in a rush and I'm not, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. God bless, you know, to him. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go in front of you. Maybe you're prevented from a big accident by somebody cutting in front of you and putting you behind for a split second. This is how you have to see. Every, everything happens to your highest benefit. Everything's always to your highest benefit. I can't wait for that big surprise miracle that will wake me up. This is amazing. The state of expectation is the state of fate. Always expect great things to happen to you. Always. Always. I can't wait. Like, it's not even, I can't wait. Like, tomorrow when I'm waking up is the best day of my life. Every day you wake up is the best day of your life so far. So far. Because the day after it's even a, an even better day. That is called uh, by some fate. And by some, just expectation. It's easy for us to step on our boundaries while trying to keep positive feelings, which leads to more bad treatment. No, I disagree. Your positive feelings are about yourself, right? You're, you're working on your self-image and self-worth. You're not developing positive feelings about somebody. And I'm not, I'm not really sure what you mean. If you're in a relationship and you're not being treated like the priority, but you're doing the work in terms of to energetically put yourself as the priority and you're journaling about it. And three, what's going to happen to this relationship is it's going to break. If that person really can change, the relationship is just going to break. When you put yourself at the center, then another person will either enter your life or this person will come back changed. But you cannot... I don't know if Albert Einstein said this. You cannot fix a problem from the mindset that created it. 
If you're in a bad relationship right now, you have to first take responsibility that it's something about your self-worth, your self-image, and your behavior that has created this. And if you're not prepared to accept that, then you can't fix it, right? That's, that's the whole challenge with manifestation. Manifestation is taking responsibility for what has already happened that wasn't very pleasant. If you can't do that, how could you possibly think that you can create something better? What is my YouTube name? Is the same as here. Handle at finer manifestation, Mona Kod. What's amazing to me and is that you're, you are basically doing this for free. Much appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. I put a numeric value around my guide because, um, again, if I made it a free download, nobody would download it. So, um, I made it 15 bucks so that everybody can get it. Um, I am energetically giving to you, but you're also giving to me. And um, it, if you guys follow that book that I'm reading, The Science of Getting Rich, one of the tenets of that book is you have to give to everyone more than what you take from them. Listen to that again. You have to give more value to everyone than you take from them. So if I take from you $15, I have to now, in order to get rich, give you more value for that. Now, I don't expect that I'm going to get rich from you. This is another key thing in manifestation. You don't have control over the how. Like in my corporate career, which I no longer have, right? But in my corporate career, I have helped over 20 people get top jobs just out of my recommendations alone and just by knowing another th match or seeing or putting in a good word. I've never received anything from those people. But the universe has helped me so much in my career and in making money. And I always link it back to the fact that I gave so much value to people. It doesn't necessarily, this is what you have to pay attention. Do not expect the people you give to, to return something back in return. Take what is fair from them and give them more value in return. We all need to gather in real life together and talk. Yeah. I want, I really want to grow this group to, um, I don't know if you guys know this, all of you about me, I do the 369 method. So 369 method. So I will, um, I will be happy when we have 369 people in the group. We have about, I don't know, 120, like who are doing this challenge. Once we have 369, you'll see, we'll reach new levels of, uh, of manifestations, all of us. During the process, is it normal to feel that in some areas you hit the bottom? You hit the bottom, queen. You hit the bottom, as in you didn't you didn't achieve. Is that what you mean? You are. Please explain a bit more about that. What's amazing? Okay, doing this for free. We talked about this. Do you work on manifesting multiple things at once? Yes, I manifest on four areas all the time, and this is outlined in my challenge. When you're doing the work, they are your relationship, your money, your career, which is different than money. It's what you love to do on a day-to-day -day basis and your body. And I have outlined there four goals that I have as an example, but you can modify them based on your goals, but they're around these areas. Now, some of them, some of them are applicable for everybody, right? Like some of the affirmations that I've pre-populated, like, like abundance is your birthright. When you read that, you read it once for yourself and once for the group. But read the instructions. It's in my bio. What video must I look on your YouTube on meditation? So if you go to my YouTube under playlist meditations, there should only be one. There's another two minute one by the water, but there's one that's 17 minutes long. It's, it's called concept meditation. So it's in a playlist called meditation. Excellent. Thank you. Yes. So you definitely can manifest. Melissa, if you don't, if you don't know me, um, I manifested like an, in all these four areas, like this is, I've had success in all these four areas into the exact manifestation I wanted. So for example, the one for my body, which I journal about in my videos, I set my weight to a certain weight. I made it decimal point just to prove to myself that it's my manifestation. So I've been that weight for over a year now, 126.6. And then I put video proof, right? Cause like people just can't believe that found it. Yes. Okay. Always looking forward to your lives and blessings from all to all of us. Blessings to all of us, Queen. Um, 
This is amazing. I'm, I'm feeling amazing. I'm getting feedback from the group. I get emails all the time. People just even want to tell me about like, what's the little things that have changed in their lives. And somebody said, um, somebody whose manifestation is not, it wasn't even money related. It was something more important. So she didn't get the manifestation yet. She's working on it, but she goes like, but I got all my debts paid off. I'm like, that's worth for something. No, she goes like, yeah, it just, just happened. But it's not really what like her main goal was yet. And why would, why would, you know, all these good things happen, all your debts be paid for, all these men from your past contact you, but not your main man. Like, what's the difference? There is no difference, okay? The only difference is you have more resistance to, to the manifestation, to the, to, sorry, to the one goal that you have. You have more of a resistance, right? Like, why would she not have managed? She got all her debts paid off. For some people, it would be like, wow but not her main. This is why you have to let go of the how, get it? You have to let go of the how it's going to happen because it's going to happen guaranteed and 100% if you just stay focused on the work. What the problem with most of you do, okay, and I, I'm guilty of it and I've done it, and but every time I catch myself, I correct it now so that you have to be aware, is you check. You check 3D. You check nonstop. You check. You do your entry, then you check, did he, did he text me? Did he like, what's going on? Did he, you know, don't check. Okay, did I, did my following grow? Did, did my, did, did I get the job application response? Let me check my email specifically for that. You already have it. You don't need to check anything. It will come to you in a very, very obvious way. A very obvious way. Queen, I want you to tell me more about like hitting the bottom because I just want to make sure I understand your question. Are you saying in an area of your, I know you're doing the challenge. So I want to, I want to understand in an area where you started to do the challenge, you, you feel low or what do you mean by hitting the bottom? Applause. Thank you. I just want you guys to tell me where you're at, okay? When when you're doing this work. I also made some notes. I always make notes for um for you guys for these um lives. Um remember success is cumulative and so is disaster. So the reason successful people remain successful and people in bad circumstances remain in bad circumstances is because all of these things, all of these thoughts are cumulative. And until you, you can't do the same thing over and over again and expect different results, okay? If you want different results, you have to do something else. You have to do something completely different than what you've been doing. So I am so sorry, but how do I join the challenge? The link is in my bio, Queen. It says, take the challenge. We're about 120 people doing the challenge right now. It hasn't you can start anytime. Yes, on some areas, things are falling apart. Is this usual? It is extremely usual. So, you know, when I wanted to make more money and have more time to myself, I lost my job. <laughs> because the universe couldn't figure out how to give me more money with less time in that environment. So it had to remove me from that environment in order to have me work less and make more get it? So if that's what you mean by hitting the bottom, um, yeah, it's, it's totally normal. But if you mean in your mind, if, so if you mean a 3D circumstance, don't worry about them. It's all going to work out. But if you mean in your mind, you have to do everything possible to get yourself out of there and send me, send me an email. Mona, I've been doing techniques, long story short, keep seeing my SP name everywhere. What does that, what, what does that mean? It means you, you are too focused and obsessed with him. I'm not sure what techniques you've been doing because nowhere in my 60 day challenge are you to focus on the SP. The work is only focusing on yourself. I'm the only option for every man that I date. They all want me. Every guy I've ever dated still thinks about me. They all want to get back with me. They're all like, it's all about me, 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 me. It's not about him. You shouldn't be seeing his name anywhere. 
In fact, I know people who, like I personally know people who have blocked other people and those people show up months, months later with flowers and candies at their door. So um, please do it exactly as outlined in the challenge. You're, you're never to focus on that person. And he has a rare name, so I don't know if that means something. No, no, it just means you're too focused on him. You're too, take him off the pedestal. You are the one on the pedestal. You, it's your reality. This is your reality. You're in control of this, of this reality. Okay? And by the way, the reason you want him, never want somebody for something they are going to give to you. Again, it's to, it's about the value. You want him because you know you're the best option for him and you know you want to make a nice life for him. So it's always from a point of wanting to give, of the highest benefit of all, of the other person. I am the best, so I know I can make the best wife, the best mom, the best. I'm the best. I'm the best for every man. Not because I want to make them obsessed, but because I really would be the best match for all these people. I just joined. Welcome, Queen. Queen, do exactly as per the instructions and read everything. Do my YouTube manifestation first on the concepts. So my YouTube handle is at Finer Manifestation. Start with that and then read all the instructions and start tonight. Welcome. Okay. Could be, uh, somebody, somebody said welcome to you. Somebody from our group. Our group, we, we really like, I think we really care for each other. It, all the people turn on to my lives. Well, as many people as you can see, like pretty much all the people who are staying on the live are like about 50 people at any given time. They're all doing the challenge. Um, it could be synchronicities, her self-concept, even improving with 3D is aligning. Yeah, it could be, but I still want her to take him off the pedestal and make it more about herself. I'm very excited to have new people. And remember, there's a space there where I say, let me know your top manifestation so I can agree to it. The agreement of a stranger is very important because when a friend or a family member has, um, agrees with you, it's different. It's different because that person has an emotional investment in your manifestation. And whatever they're putting emotionally, this is why you should keep your manifestations private, right? Whatever emotions are putting in your manifestation would, would affect your manifestation. So if you must share, you share with a stranger. Okay. And so for example, me, I agree with anything you say, as long as it's to the highest benefit of all. Um, don't, don't send me your top manifestation is, you know, for your SP's wife to, I'm not going to agree with that, but you know, you, you want a good life with somebody specific. I am in agreement with that and I have no emotional investment. Can we agree that I will have a house for my family? You have the house for your family. A hundred percent, but do the work. Mona's correct. Keep focusing on your prize. And Nadia, you're, you're proof for that, right? You're, you're seeing all these exes coming back and telling you. I, it's, this is like, th this is just so easy when you don't think of them. That's when they come. There is a reason for that. Because when you don't think of them, you're focused on you. And they're focused on you. Because everyone is you pushed out. I want customers for my business. Focus on um, journaling of the day-to-day -day successful business owner life. Who gets, let's say... I don't know what kind of business you have if you're selling products or you wake up to your email and you have 100 unopened messages. You have to see it from the end, from who, how your day would go, who you would be when you are this person who is running this successful business. Do not be in a state of want, in a state of desire. When you're in a state of want, I want customers, okay? When you want customers, you're saying, I don't have customers. Everything that you're saying, it perpetuates. I have my ex on a pedestal. I think I will never find someone like him. Maybe that's a good thing, Queen. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing you don't find someone like him. Who knows? He's an ex for a reason, no? Focus on you, Queen. All, joke, all joking aside, focus on you. Put yourself back on the pedestal. Put him down at the bottom there. See him there with all the other men who are crazy in love with you. Um... And that's it. You're, you're the only option for him or anyone else who will, who will date you. And to the highest benefit of all, you are loved. I'm loved. I'm wanted. Stay there. 
I'm loved, I'm wanted, I'm courted. Everybody wants to take me out. Just stay in that energy. You're the best. I am manifesting a furnished home for my family too. You have my agreement on that. I know you've been doing the work for a long time. Not for a long time, for like 30 days or so. Um, you got to stay in that energy. Put the key in the door. That's what I did with my home when I was manifesting it. I, I saw it. I saw the columns at the entrance. I, you have to put something specific on your home. You guys understand that, right? For a home or a car, take one of your objects and make it very specific in the car. If you have a charm, put it in, in your mental image of you driving the car. Put this thing on the, uh, on the mirror or something like that. Make it your own. Put your lipstick there in, I don't know, the glove compartment. Do, do something like this. And the same with the house. Design something very specific about this house. Don't think of it theoretically, a fully furnished home. Be very specific. Put, take something from your existing home and put it in that home. See how small it looks in your new big home. He ghosted after a year of dating, long distance relationship. Okay, I want this to be the last time you type this out in writing. This is an old story. It's not your story. It's crazy in love with you. And so is everybody else. Do not put this in writing. Every time you put it in writing, you're reinforcing this memory. This memory continues. You have to remember it differently. What happened with this guy is he was ready for marriage. You were not, and you rejected him. And so, you know... He's, he was hurt and he's still, he's still hurt and he's still thinking of you and knows you're the best option. And when he comes back, you'll be ready. You understand? That's, that's the story. That's the story you're going to write about and you're going to tell about and, and don't put, don't put any more in writing what any memories you don't want to, you don't want to enforce. Don't talk to your friends about it. You see what happens? You do your meditation, you do the entry, then you call your friends and you're like, but I feel so low because I saw, I saw him on social media with some other girl. Why do you have access to his social media? You cannot observe anything you don't want. The moment you observe it, do you guys know about the double slit experiment? If not, whoever doesn't know about the double slit experiment, Write this down, double slit experiment. You have to watch a three minute YouTube video about it. It's proven scientifically, okay, that a light wave only collapses into a particle when you observe it. So it means reality becomes real when you observe it. If you observe him being with another girl on social media, guess what? I was talk, talking about it. How do I still connect to the manifestation? You're talking about the work that we're doing now. It's in The link is in my bio. Oh, are you talking about something else? With visualizing your manifestation, I can't see the images. So write about it. I'm a very visual manifester. So I'm just very careful with the images that are in my mind. I can't watch TV. I can't watch crime shows. I can't, I can't watch any of that stuff. But if you're not visual, just write about it and use the spoken word. Use the spoken word, use the premises in what I'm outlining in my guide to just reinforce this is how it is. Circumstances do not matter. Everything always works out for me all the time. Print them out, have them on your dashboard. I used to have them. I don't have them anymore on my dashboard. I have, just have them in the bathroom and in my closet. But I read them out loud all the time, all the time. Because remember, when you're manifesting, you're swimming against the stream of society, of collective consciousness. Collective consciousness is very negative. And it will tell you, it will give you the opposite messages all the time that bad things can happen to good people, that the economy is down, that this is all they're telling you nonstop. So you're swimming against that stream on a daily basis. You have to do the work daily, right? Daily. What was the name of the experiment? The double slit experiment, S-L-I-T. It was performed first like about a hundred years ago, but then it was refined. And it's, it's at the base core of quantum physics, the way we understand quantum physics. You'll easily understand what they did if you watch like the simplified version on YouTube. You put understanding the double slit experiment. That's exactly how reality works. It's already proven. I want to belong to the group. How can I start? The link is in my bio. It says, take the 60 day challenge. 
I put a symbolic um, monetary value on it just because a free download has is worthless to anybody. Nobody's going to do it. But if you download the workbook, you have to do the work for 60 days, exactly as I outline it, and you have to show up on this lives. Thank you. We'll definitely keep reaffirming out loud. Yeah, it needs to be done every day. This work actually never ends, okay, because you're always going to have new desires. But what will increase is your faith in your abilities, right? This is why we're doing the small exercises with the coffee, with the ladder, with the flamingos, with the turtles, and everyone's manifesting it. Well, if you've been able to manifest the flamingo in your experience, why can't you manifest the beautiful trip you want to take to Greece? It's the same thing. You just need to put yourself in that experience. So once you understand that there's no small things or big things, it will happen to you, but again, only if you let go of the how. Do not think I'm, I'm going to take a trip in June because I know this person is going to ask me to go on this trip or I know I'm going to get a bonus from my work. Don't, don't try to figure out the how. Let it come. My cousin on my life, my cousin, wanted to go to Bali or something. Anyways, she just said, I, I can't go on such a holiday. That's, you know, it's very pricey from here, from North America. And it's, where's in Bali? It was like Maldives or something. And um, she just like forgot about it. She randomly applied for a credit card. She got a letter in the mail on my life. She won a $20,000 trip anywhere in the world. So of course she went to Maldives because that, that was her dream. But <laughs> you know what I mean? Just put it in her mind, visualized herself there, kind of let it go. You know, but it's it's a strong desire she wanted. Randomly apply to a credit card. She didn't even know there was a prize for applying to this credit card. And then she gets this letter in the mail. She won a $20,000 trip. This was a few years ago. She asked me to go with her, actually, but I was busy. I couldn't at the time. I just, this is how it works. You got to let the universe surprise you. She didn't think, I need to start saving 300 bucks a month. By the end of next year, I'll afford to go to Maldives and or... I got to meet a rich man to take me to Maldives. None of that. Don't, don't try to figure that. Let it go. I recently manifested a trip to the Bahamas in this manner. You let it go, right? Tell everybody that you, you let it go. You want it to go, but you let go of the how. The best and most significant manifestations, they happen in a way you didn't expect. You know? You're gonna, they happen with DSP too. You're just gonna be living your mind, minding your own business, and he'd be at the door with flowers and candies after months and months of not talking. Ask me how I know. All right, where were we? I just, I had some thoughts and I just want to make sure I get all the thoughts. Okay. Yeah. Very important. Don't play contingency scenarios, right? If you decided you're applying for this job and it's yours, don't play contingency scenarios as in, but if I don't get it, then I can do this other thing. The moment you play contingency scenarios, your manifestation is ruined. I want you guys to understand this. You got to start at the beginning. If you thought even a little bit of a contingency of a plan B, what, okay, so I'm manifesting, you know, my SP or job or car, but if I don't get it, I know this is what else I'm going to do. Do not give your manifestation a choice on whether it's going to come or not come. You understand? You can't have a plan B. It's just plan A. It's just plan A. And then um, don't look at the environment. Don't check. If you planted a seed, you wouldn't dig it up tomorrow to see if it grew a little bit. Get it? You planted it. You're not going to check tomorrow. You're not going to check on it. You're going to water it with more of the same thoughts. You're not going to check. Please block, if you're manifesting SPs, please block them on social media. You don't want to observe. Hey, you don't want to observe them in a scenario that would trigger you. They will come eventually when you feel like you have put yourself on the pedestal or even while they're blocked. 
they will show up for you or they might show up for you in a time where you don't even want them anymore. The point is it's going to work out for you because you're deciding it now together as a group that this is working out for you all of the time. Not sometimes, all of the time. You're going to block DSP everywhere. You're not going to look at their lives at all, at all. You're going to do the work on you. I am the only option, the number one option for anybody who's ever met me. Right? I, me, me, I am. SP means specific person. It's generally for people that they want to get with somebody specific, oftentimes an ex. The ex will show up in your life, but differently, if you're doing this correctly. If you're putting yourself on the pedestal and not them. Because you got you to gotta remember something. If they're an ex, thank you so much. If they're an ex... You don't want them back as the same person. What you want is a new and improved version of them, which is not them the way you knew them, right? So if it's your ex who's now with somebody else who doesn't care about your feelings, who didn't treat you very well, it's not them that you want. You want them to come back and be different, right? So you're not really manifesting them back. You're putting yourself at the center and in him or in another man, that energy will be matched by returning to you exactly that. The fact that you're the only option and his priority. Do this with a good heart, as in you know you're actually a great match for him. You want to improve his life. Never do it as revenge to make him obsessed with you, just so you can pay him back. Because that will also negatively affect your life. If you feel hate for somebody resentment, a lot of it. Remember that those feelings are a poison that you take hoping it will um, kill the other person. It's only affecting you. Oftentimes they don't even think of you because when you hate somebody, you're shut off like their energy, they kind of forget about you. They forget about you because they're not a match for this energy. This is this is just you internally. It's It's, it's more to talk about it in terms of negative feelings. Kill off any negative feelings you have by any means possible. Okay, I want you to be clear on that. Okay, so I stay on this lives for one hour. It's been one hour. Passes by quickly. But at the end of the lives, I end with the 369 tapping. We have a lottery, like a lot of lottery winners in this group. It's small amounts, but really like a lot of winnings. And I, I really tie it back to this tapping that we do on every live. If you want to participate, stay with me. Participate takes about 30 seconds. If you don't, you can end the live now. This is the end of it. And um, then just, just follow along with the tapping and put your phone away and stay in this vibration after you tap. I'll take one more question here. Should I say happy birthday to SP if we are in no contact? No. Do not, do not contact them. Do the work. Do the work on yourself in my program or another program, but you need to be focused just on yourself. All right. So the winning, okay. You're specifically going to repeat after me. I am a winner. We've been doing this for a month and a half now, and it's produced incredible results. And I know one of these days, somebody's going to write to me and it's going to be like a seven, eight figure result. I know it so far has been like three digits results. It's not bad, right? It's not bad for some tapping. You're ready, eyes open, you're doing exactly as I'm doing, and then you're ending quietly. I am a winner, I am a winner, I am a winner. I am a winner, 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 I am a winner. I am a winner, 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 I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner.